start, there were around 200 countries all looking to make it here. Now it is down to just two. Expectation, fevered, frenetic. This is the one fixture they all wanted to see, and every day has only fanned the flames of expectation. Starting lineups. So, just who will seize their moment? As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Danilo with the ball through. Now it's Roberto Firmino. And the ball's come out! Well, it's certainly a very promising start so far, but they've come up against a really solid defence. They're going to need to find just a little more guile and craft. Danilo gets it back. Paulinho, Firmino. Muller. Germany have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Out wide to the right. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Now the pass. Danilo gets into a good position. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Royce down by a lack of accuracy and it's William Philippe Coutinho oh great save real Muller oh well defended that had to be done played out to the right William tries to stroke it through. Goal! Brazil! Could that be the start of something big? Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Brazil give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? 
Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. He only praised that sort of alertness and the way he almost knew what was going to happen and he got there really early. That was top stuff for me. Royce. Brazil are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Top save! That shot was travelling! And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Well, when a defence moves up in unison like that, they usually catch someone straight. Aim forward. Royce. Mesut Ozil. It's the route one option. And he's cut it out. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. So, Jim, the halfway point of the final. What are you thinking? Yeah, they'll be boosted Will by the approach be the same after the break. Um, certainly, if they don't add to it early on in the second half, I think they may begin to retreat and just try and hold on to what they've got. Brazil having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time, 1 0. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of. There it is! Germany are all square! Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. <laughs> Germany grabbed the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Muller, looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Jerome Boateng, it's Ozil. Another... Royce. And it's Paulinho. Looks like a good ball through. Now it's Neymar. And he's there to cut it out. He can get that clear. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Has got good distance on that. Coaxed out to the wing. Mesut Ozil looking to get on the end of this. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Looks to slip it through. And the flag has stayed down. And Coutinho! A wonderful effort all by himself. Listen, I know I'm supposed to remain impartial, but as he progressed, I was willing him on more and more. I wanted him to stick that away. There's some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. <laughs> away from immediate danger. Tries a through ball. Can he finish? Brazil! And they get themselves in front! Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Oh, that's excellent composure because the keeper put as much pressure on as he could by not committing sooner. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Brazil get themselves into the lead. 
Mesut Ozil tosses it through. Has a swing at it! Saved only by yeah, but somehow he's missed it. Casemiro cut out in the nick of time. Demanding a quick ball here. Now it's William. William plays it backwards and they'll try again. Knocks it away. And it's Danilo. Played it early. He's there to get rid. Brazil just have to run down the clock. Back to the keeper and try something new. Foul, free kick's been given. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Well, that's not going to find its target. Tries a through ball. What a throw in. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Brazil are the champions of the world. Football's ultimate prize. This is utopia. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who as a team blended into champions and this is their moment.